welcome to Atis Education. Today we are going to learn practice set 13. If you see the whole video, you can understand it how to solve in easy way the given problems. I teach you in easy method and easy English for your understanding. And if you have any query, any questions related to maths, you can comment in comment box. And if you learn very well by this video, please like the video and press the subscribe button to subscribe my channel. Thank you. So let's start to learn how to solve practice set 13. The first question is write the reciprocals of the following numbers. So first of all, you have to learn what is the reciprocal is. Practice set 13. Question number first and first sub question in it. First of all, we have to learn what is the reciprocal. Reciprocals. It is also called multiplicative inverse. Multiplicative. inverse so what is this reciprocal and multiplicative inverse so when the product of two numbers is one then they are called as multiplicative inverse or reciprocals of each other for example when we write the multiplication of fractions 2 upon 3 multiply by 3 upon 2. In this problem, how we solve it? We just do the multiplication of numerators and multiplication of denominators and find our product that is answer so 3 multiply by 2 it's 6 and 2 multiply by 3 it's also 6 here our numerator and denominator is same so we can divide them as 6 1 the 6 and 6 1 the 6 so for this our answer is 1. So when there is the product of two numbers is 1 then the, that numbers are called reciprocal or multiplicative inverse. So for writing reciprocal or multiplicative inverse we just have to exchange their denominators and numerators. How? Look. Suppose there is 3 upon 7 is the given fraction. And we have to write the reciprocal of this fraction. So what we have to do? We just have to exchange the denominator and numerator. Change their places. The denominator becomes numerator and numerator becomes denominator like this we just have to change their places write denominator in numerator's place and write numerator in denominator's place let's see another example 4 upon 71 this is the fraction and how can we write the reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of it? We just have to change their places. Look, 71 is on the downside. Write it on upper side. And 4 is on upper side. Write it on downside. It's easy 
and simple to write the reciprocals or multiplicative inverse of any number in the world so turn towards to practice set 13 our first question is write the reciprocals of the following numbers and first sub question in it is 7 Question one, first sub question is seven. Now look here. Here there is no denominator. This is the whole number. Each and every whole number have the denominator one. So how can we write it as a fraction seven upon one? And so when we get it. as a fraction we can easily write the reciprocal of that number what is the reciprocal the reciprocal is 1 upon 7 again remember each and every number whole number have the denominator and it is a 1 the second is 11 upon 3 here is a fraction so we just write it as 3 upon 11 this is the reciprocal of given number we have to just replace their places the third one is 5 upon 13 5 upon 13 the reciprocal of given number is 13 upon 5 the next number is 2 here they give whole number how can we write the reciprocal of the number one is the denominator of given number so just write one on the upper side and Two on downside means two as a denominator and one as a numerator. So one upon two is the reciprocal of two. Fifth question is six upon seven. Six upon seven. The reciprocal of given fraction is seven upon six. Look, it's easy. Now turn towards the next question. Second question is carry out the following divisions. In last practice set, we learned how to carry out multiplications of given fractions. Now we we are going to carry their divisions. So first question is two upon three divided by one upon four. Question number two. First question. Two upon three divided by one upon four. So for carry out their divisions or to divide a number by a fraction, we have to mu write multiplicative inverse of the next fraction and do the multiplications as we do in practice set twelve. Look, two upon three. It is so easy. Two upon three. We just have to remove this sign and write here the multiplication sign. Multiply by. Now look at the next fraction. We have to write this fraction's reciprocal for multiplication. Four upon. One is the fraction's reciprocal. Remember, you have to write the first fraction as it is, then remove dividation sign and write multiplication sign. Then write the reciprocal of next number or next fraction. So two upon three. Multiplied by four upon 
1. Just 2 multiplications. 2 multiply by 4, it's 8. And 3 multiply by 1, it's 3. So our dividation is 8 upon 3. The second question is 5 upon 9 divided by 3 upon 2. How can we carry the divisions? Write the first given fraction as it is 5 upon 9. Then remove the dividation sign and just write here multiplication sign. And the reciprocal of next fraction is 2 upon 3. Now, let's multiply them. 5 multiplied by 2 divided by 9 multiplied by 3. 5 2 is 10. 9 3 is 27. This is our answer. Now, look at the next question. It is 3 upon 7 divided by 5 upon 11. 3 upon 7 divided by 5 upon 11. So, now it's easy to you. I tell you in simple language and by simple method. First of all, we are going to write the given fraction as it is. Then remove dividation sign and write here multiplication sign and then write the reciprocal of next fraction that is 11 upon 5. Just multiply them, multiplication of numerators and multiplication of denominator. Find out the product 3 multiply by 11. The number we get here is 33 upon 7 multiply by 5. Here the product we get is 35. So our answer is 33 upon 35. Next, fourth question. That is 11 upon 12 divided by 4 upon 7. 12 it write the fraction as it is 11 upon 12 remove dividation sign write here multiplication sign then 7 upon 4 11 7 is 77 and 12 4 is 48 it's easy to you by this method Look at the next question. The question is, there were 420 students participating in the Swachh Bharat campaign. They clean 42 upon 75 part of the town, Sevagram. The name of town is Sevagram. What part of Sevagram did each student clean if the work was equally shared by all? We have to find out how much part cleaned by each student? It's so easy. We have we just have to divide 42 upon 75 by 420 students. Look how 42 upon 75 divided by 400. 20 and it's easy to us to carry out divisions so 42 upon 75 now remove the dividation sign write here multiplication sign and the multiplicative inverse of 420 that is 1 upon 420 now just carry out the multiplication 42 
टू अपॉन सेवेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन अपॉन फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी समटाइम्स देर इज इजी टू डिवाइड न्यूमिनेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर लुक फोर्टी टू वन सो फोर्टी टू एंड फोर्टी टू वन सो फोर्टी टू हेयर वी डिवाइड फोर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी बाय फोर्टी टू बाय दिस मेथड इट्स इजी टू अस टू डू लेस मल्टीप्लीकेशन लुक हेयर नाउ ऑन द न्यूमरेटर साइड द नंबर्स आर वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन एंड ऑन द डिनोमिनेटर साइड द नंबर्स आर सेवेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन नाउ वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय वन द प्रोडक्ट वी गेट इज वन एंड सेवेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन द प्रोडक्ट वी गेट इज सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सो ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट्स क्लीन वन अपॉन सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी पार्ट ऑफ द सेवा ग्राम Just write it in words. Each student cleaned one upon seven hundred fifty part of seva gram. If you easily understand by this video, please like the video. and comment in comment box and also subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video thank you